Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Jella here back again with another video and today's video we'll be doing an unboxing of the Yeezy Slate 500i. I was able to pick up one last year so today I'll be doing an unboxing for you guys. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, welcome back to the video. I'm going to basically open the box now. Looking at the box, there's nothing special here. You have just everything you expect from a normal Yeezy box. This is just bigger because it's 500i, you know? Alright, so open the box, you have your normal easy wrapping paper and all. And so I'm going to take one out, one shoe out, I'll put this for the camera here so you guys can have a closer look. And I'll put this one down in front so we can talk about it, you know. Okay, looking at the shoe, honestly, like, I would say this is what I expected because if you have, like, seen the 500 low, it's almost similar and now they just took it a little bit up. And I feel like the materials and everything is actually quality on this pair and everything. Like, I would say this is a size 12, but I would say this is a little bit big in my opinion, but I'm sure like when you wear it, it's a little different and all. Like, let's, general things to know about this shoe, uh, it doesn't have boost, it has something called Adi Print. So I think it's a new material, it's not boost, so I don't think they'll get some boost in this shoe. And like the laces are like the easy laces and but like the texture is really soft we have a little bit suede in front and like we have some good materials here like breathable material here so in general i'll give this shoe a seven because it's not the best i like it but it's not like i would like go out and buy it right now if i was giving it a chance i was thinking they won't give it that much adidas branding but they actually try to brand it that much but it's not that bad but like they try to give it a bit of branding and everything Looking at the shoe in general, it's okay. It came out December 16th of last year when Adidas was releasing shoes like I said, they didn't know what to do with, with, with money in the bank or something like that. But like, the shoes are okay. I don't know like what you guys think about it. Take a closer look. Take a, take a closer look. I think it's cool. I think they're okay. I really don't have much to say about them because they're just alright. Like, I'm going to show you guys the close up in this camera. They're just alright to be honest. Like, there's nothing spectacular about them. They're okay and everything. If I was given a chance to buy one at a low price, maybe retail and I had the money, I would probably pick it up. But, like, it's not something I have to go out there and pick up. Let's just say that and everything. So tell me get your thoughts on this right now in the comments below and tell me guys what you guys think about these new shoes that Adidas is releasing and can you release them? Because I feel like they're actually over releasing. Don't, what do you guys think? Like I feel like they are already releasing too much and they need to calm down on the releases and all. But like in general, like Adidas are the good year, the fact that they ended it with the Azils and I have the Azils coming in for you guys because I was able to pick that up on Easy Supply. So I have a review of the Azils coming in. I just need to get the shoe down here first and all. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Watch out for my next videos. I have unboxings coming. So many unboxings. I told you this is just two shoes out of one now. So I have more unboxings to come. I have like shoe unboxing, clothing unboxings, and I have like normal things that you guys will enjoy every day. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. This is JLB. I'm signing out. Bye.